Oh, hi, this is Rick Naranjo with Matthew Pogansky with Tech Tips from Paradise Energy Solutions. And today we'd like to talk to you about rapid shutdown and what rapid shutdown is. So uh, Matthew's our system designer and uh, resident expert and he'll go into more detail. And uh, Matthew, thanks for joining us. Uh, but rapid shutdown is designed, uh, is based on the National Electric Code. Uh, the current revision is 2017. Uh, some towns and states use 2014. And so there's different um, requirements based on those two versions of the electric code. And we always make sure we adhere to the requirements of the National Electric Code based on the region where we're installing your solar uh, system. And so you can be rest assured that we're always installing it according to the current edition of the code that's being enforced in your area. And so Matthew will tell us a little bit more about how rapid shutdown works. Um, rapid shutdown was actually created for first responder safety. Um, it's not that systems before rapid shutdown are inherently unsafe, but with the introdu introduction of rapid shutdown, they are safer for first responders when they come on site. Um, now there's two major um, differences in the electrical code as far as rapid shutdown in NEC 2014 and NEC 2017. Um, the main difference is that 2014 was more of an array level shutdown. Um, you want to make sure that your array itself is isolated. Um, there's no um, voltage outside of that array. Um, and 2017, there was a change where we're switching to module level electronics. And how that works is you have either a microinverter, like I'm holding, or um, a solar edge optimizer. And these are devices that will go directly underneath your solar modules. Um, what is that, how those work is you will throw a disconnect switch or a separate device, which we'll show you in a moment. And when you pull that switch, um, you will shut down power outside of the array and keep power isolated to your module and to your device. Now with the introduction of rapid shutdown, um, rapid shutdown only applies to roof mounted systems. Um, as far as ground mounts are concerned, those remained exactly the same as they were before. They don't need any additional um, module level electronics. But for roof mounted systems um, where firefighters need access, we have these devices um, which help um, achieve the safety that the National Electric Code was seeking to achieve for those firefighters. Uh, so now we're outside and, and uh, we're gonna show you how to uh, activate your rapid shutdown system. And it's actually very quite simple. We're here at the solar disconnect of uh, our system here at Paradise Energy Solutions. And uh, Matthew, if you don't mind, uh, what, what, what's entailed to, to initiate a rapid shutdown of a solar system? In most systems, it's gonna be as simple as pulling one switch and the switch is just an up to down motion. And in about 30 seconds from now, all of our PV is going to be dead outside of the array. So it will be safe for a firefighter to go up on that roof and do whatever he needs to do to make sure everyone inside the building is safe. So now, uh, if we just did this to demonstrate, so we're gonna turn our system back on so we don't lose advantage of some of the sunlight we're getting here in Pennsylvania. So Matthew, go ahead and re-energize the system. There we go. Okay, thank you very much.